Hi guys and welcome to today's video where I'll be introducing you to a new addition to our family. Now before I begin, I will say I have tried to film this video before but I always end up getting far too emotional. Um, with the short time, oh my god I'm so sorry I'm getting upset. <laughs> the short time I had with them, I made sure they had the best life. I'm sorry I'm getting upset right now. You see, I think I want to celebrate our new addition, but I also don't want to forget about the guinea pigs who have come before him and the recent passing of Dougal. Um, so I don't get too emotional and bring this whole video down, I'm going to write what I wanted to say in the description down below. So if you did want to read that, you can. But yeah, let me first introduce you to our new little guinea pig. So this here is little Flynn. For anyone wondering, he is from a breeder. My local RSPCA had no guinea pigs. They actually now offer boarding for when you go on holiday, you can take your pet there because they have so much spare room, which I guess is actually really good for a shelter. Um, to the best of my knowledge, we don't have a guinea pig rescue or rehoming place near me or even in my county. If there is, they need to be more visible because I searched the internet far and wide and I could not find one. And I didn't want to buy him from a shop. Dougal was actually from a shop and he was only two and a half when he passed away, which is the shortest life out of all my guinea pigs that I've ever had. And though Fergal was also from the same shop, I really hope he has a better chance in life. And to be honest with you guys, with the bad luck I've had in the past with my guinea pigs and their genes, I really just wanted like a healthy guinea pig from a good breeder. So I ended up with this little one. Now, you may wonder, <laughs> what on earth is he? Some people think he's a hamster. He is not. He does look a little bit like a very big hamster. He's actually a cross between a Texel, a Swiss, and a bit of Rex. So he has a lot of hair genes going on. I'm hoping, and though I can't be sure, but I am hoping that because he's such a mix, he may have a wider gene pool, which may benefit him health-wise. Like, hopefully. Obviously we can't prove that, but hopefully. <laughs> Anyway, one great thing about getting a guinea pig from a good breeder is that they're usually used to human interaction as well as interaction with other guinea pigs. Flynn here is just over six weeks old, probably about seven by the time you see this video, but he's already very confident and also very, very vocal. <laughs> to get another guinea pig so soon I was just looking for a good breeder because usually you find one and then they have a litter but they're like okay they won't be ready for a few weeks or another month however I found this breeder <laughs> within about two days she was like hey come check out my guinea pigs I've got a few males left and as soon as I saw Flynn because I saw him in a photo before I was like I love that one that's the one for me and then I met him and saw his temperament and how floofy he was <laughs> and I was like yes this is the one now, you may be wondering how is Fergal getting on with all of this. Since Dougal's passing, he's actually been doing really well. Like, he didn't go off his food. He actually became a little more confident. Like, he wasn't as skittish as he was before. He seemed completely fine in himself. I actually thought, when I introduced them, I don't think Fergal's even going to care. But, oh my god, when he saw Flynn... He just lit up. It's so hard to explain. I wish I filmed it, but he was like obsessed with him. They will talk to each other. If Flynn calls for him, he will literally come running along to see what's up. He will show him where the food is. He is, he's surprisingly paternal. Like it's so lovely to see that he's just taken on this baby like as if it's his own. And if you have a lone adult male guinea pig and you want to get him a friend, I'd highly recommend a baby male guinea pig. I've bonded pairs, I think, four times now and it's worked almost instantly every time. The adult just assumes that dominant role so there's no fighting over that and they get on really well straight away in my experience. A lot of people think you can't put two males together because there's a lot of animals where two males do not work, but actually from what I've found, males do a lot better than a lot of girls together. A lot of female guinea pigs can be very sassy and they don't always get on. But in my experience, males do really well. But yeah, so this is Flynn. I am very excited to see how his hair like develops over time. It's going to be such a mess. If you've had a Swiss or a Texel, 
give me some grooming tips because I mean I'm already brushing him from day one so he gets used to it but he's just gonna be a furball um it may be hard to tell but at the moment he, he's just so soft like a little cotton ball but from my experience with Rex's I know that the hair gets more coarse as he ages so this is this is gonna be interesting I also love his little crinkles hair I think that's from the Texel gene in him and he also has crazy whiskers so cute Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it may seem a little soon and unexpected, but the look of Fergal when he saw him and just see how well they're getting on, it's it's all worth it. Anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you for watching, guys, and goodbye. Fergal, circles. Good boy. You are squishing Flynn right now. Get the bell. There we go. Kick! Good boy! Flynn! Flynn! Give me up! Good boy! Look at that! <laughs> You're so well behaved. Why do you just sit like that? Oh, my little baby. Yeah. What's your little hand doing here? Here's your little hand. Little Flynn hand. Flynn the Gwing Gwing. Nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> Why is he so just tame? He's just like, yep, take my little hand. <laughs>